How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client flew in for the next three days and I'm gonna be doing his whole back piece cover up. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. All right, you ready? Ready to be. You nervous? Ner well, yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Up to the consultation, extremely nervous. You know, and was I wasn't nervous because of um, you know the ability to do the job. It was nervousness because it's like it was finally getting done. Yeah. You know, and it's like Such I'm because I'm here. It's finally getting done. So you know, but once we started talking to Kevin, it was like extremely comfortable. Extremely, you know, it, it, everything just felt natural. All right. What a day. <laughs> That's exciting <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be an intense three days. A lot of hours, but we're going to get it done. I know we will. I'm going to make sure I'm going to be navigating throughout the whole entire project, making sure that the client is okay. There are some areas of this back piece that are very scarce, especially the tiger there. Also, the background of the flowers. And the red is really vibrant, so I have to watch out for that red. And uh, once I place a stencil, I'm going to figure out exactly how I'm going to approach this, but I got this. For the past 10 years, I've talked to 20 different people, 95% of them, I don't even want, I don't even want to touch it. Like they, they would look at my back and just, I'm not even, I'm not even going to attempt it. But seeing the, seeing the, the cover up Kevin did with the death, I knew like he was the only one that can do it. So, so my confidence in him is like through the roof. Like I have no, no doubt in my mind that, that he, he can fix this. I'm going to begin placing the stencil. Um, I want to make sure that I have enough to where the back looks glossy and cover the whole entire back. The product, the product that I like using to put in on stencils and it helps me out a lot to, uh, to have the stencil look solid and it doesn't erase, it is uh, Jesus Juice. Uh, it is a very amazing uh, product. I'm gonna be putting the link in the description to, uh, to their Instagram so you can order your Jesus Juice. Amazing product. Uh, this, this stencil is gonna stay on his back for the next three days and will not erase. He can get in the shower. As long as he doesn't scrub, obviously that is a whole different story, but he can get in the shower. The stencil will stay for the next three days. That looks amazing. If I see that the red roses are too bright, I might consider doing red from one corner going to bright gray. Okay. Just because I wanna make sure that those red roses are gone and I don't wanna risk it by show the roses showing through the whole thing. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay with doing the red. Okay, um, sounds good. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was expecting red anyways. Okay, perfect. So. Yep, I think the red is just something that I'm gonna kind of go with the flow and figure out what's the best situation once I see the top done. So once I see the top, I'll make the final decision on what's gonna be the best approach. The approach that I'm gonna be taking to start this back piece is, um, I'm gonna start off with the top here on the shoulder area and I'm gonna work my way down for the next three days. Uh, when it comes down to big projects like this, you don't want to attack the whole entire background and then go back to the middle or go all over the place. You gotta work from the top to the bottom because they're gonna be so sore on this area that by the time you hit the next day close to that area, it's gonna be very painful. So what you wanna do is work shoulders, then the middle, then the bottom. Doing the background solid black is gonna allow for the piece to breathe more and stand out from afar. You don't wanna confuse the eye by adding too much on a back piece when it can be simplified and focus on the details of the actual main attraction of the back piece. 
Um, so the way I'm blacking out the whole background is by using a 43 curve mag and with the 5.0 voltage so I won't cause a lot of damage to the skin and it's, it's allowed me to move pretty quick as well. I'm just moving at a good pace and as soon as I'm done with an area I just move on and yeah I, uh, I think I've been going out enough for an hour and a half and I was able to do this whole entire uh, top part of the shoulder from shoulder to shoulder. How's the pain level so far? Not bad. Not bad, huh? Damn, you take it like a champ. <laughs> and you thought it was gonna hurt. <laughs> well, it does hurt, first of all, but you just know how to handle it. As soon as I started doing the top of the cover wrap on the shoulder area, I realized that the cover wrap is a lot easier than I imagined. So I'm excited the fact that it's not giving me any problems and I'm cruising right through it. So right now, like towards the middle, the you know back where the spine's at, has been pretty, um, pretty spicy. You know the shoulders and, and the and the shoulder blades have been have been really fine, have been okay. For me, it's, it's, it's a confidence booster in life, you know? I feel comfortable taking my shirt off now, even though it's not even done yet. I already feel comfortable taking my shirt off. But no, it's, it's everything I could ask for. Today is day two, which is also gonna be the longest day. And I'm gonna be attacking the middle part of this back piece cover up. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> that looks nice. Who are you? It's like a brand new back piece. <laughs> uh, today it is, it is uh, day two, and since we already had the stencil ready to go, all I had to do is set up my station and start going at it. Uh, I'm deciding to start on the, on the left side of the back, doing the background to kind of build the adrenaline of the body to get, it, get used to the feeling before I head to the middle of the back because the middle of the back is the area that is sensitive. So I need to navigate from here to there because uh, if I was to start on this area, it would be a little too much trauma to, to the client's uh, body. Um, and we don't want that because we don't want to waste his energy on such an important day. Uh, today is the day, is the longest day. So I have to make sure that I navigate. Uh, at the moment, I'm starting with the tempo of the skull, adding my contrast in it with solid black. Uh, once I'm done with adding my contrast, uh, I will proceed to add my red, my hints of red to make it look like the skull is going from red to a very vibrant gray tone towards the end of the skull. I'm using my 17 curve mag with a voltage of a 5.0 voltage, um, just so I can cover a lot more space. Uh, with less irritation on the skin and I'm gonna move at a good pace because uh, the last thing I want is to move too fast and irritate the skin or move too slow and irritate the skin so you, you gotta be right in the middle moving at a good pace when matching your hand speed the best thing that I can do for my client today is to make sure that he is okay checking on him at all times keep him hydrated and make sure that he's well fed my highlight point it's uh, on this area so I'm starting with my scribble technique with my 14 round liner and slowly using or adding my texture. Uh, I want to start seeing shapes and figure out where I want to put my red highlights and where I want to put my gray highlights. So in order for me to know that, I have to take it slow and see what I'm, where I'm adding the texture. But pay attention to your highlights and contrast first.
To help me detect the features of the skull, I will start by doing the eye socket. By applying all that black, uh, it will help me to really register where everything's gonna go and figure out how dark I wanna do it because it's really easy to make the whole skull look dark, especially doing a cover-up. With my 14 brown shader, I will begin to execute the cheekbone. This one is a tricky area. There is a lot to cover up. So I have to be very careful on not losing the shape of the face. The cheekbone on my reference looks a little too flat for me. So I'm gonna end up changing it to uh, a more pointier cheekbone. What that's gonna do for me is make it look a little bit more aggressive. Now that I'm done with, uh, with the red, I have to transition back to the gray and give it a skull that dimension, like if it's glowing on this side of the, the face. Transitioning from one color to another can get a little complicated. If you do it fast and you're rushing, you have to take your time. Make sure that you are transitioning at a good pace. Don't rush it. Uh, make sure that every now and then, before you, when you do like a little spot, step back and make sure you're doing it the right way. Uh, we are pretty much on the last hour of today. It got, it got kind of spicy earlier because we were doing a lot. Today's the final day of this full bag piece cover up. I have to be very careful and mindful on how I'm going to approach today. Uh, I have a big chunk that I still have to finish. So I'm gonna be very gentle and I'm gonna be checking up on him like I have been in the last two days. And I'm excited to finish this project because it's looking insane. Final day. You know, going into day two, you know, after seeing the progress on day one, you know, it made me feel even better going into day two. And then day three, I mean, it was, you know, it was brutal ending day two. So, but just the thought of day three, but then also the thought of it being done, just, just makes it all worth it. I want to start on this corner to uh, start with the background, just to start building his adrenaline and that's gonna help his body to uh, get used to it before I go to the middle part. Because I, like I mentioned yesterday, the whole middle part of the back is the most painful area. So I have to make sure that I navigate from here towards the middle. Uh, so that way the body just kind of like gets used to the feeling. And it's also the, the, the one day that can get complicated because of how his body's exhausted, he's tired, uh, so I have to be on the lookout for, uh, be on the lookout for anything. Do right here? So I feel like I've done like a thousand sit-ups. <laughs> oh yeah, because of <laughs> just doing this the whole time? Just squinching like, uh, you know, uh, getting that core workout like, <laughs> oh. Well, last, it was funny last night, like mm -hmm. I actually started, like my body started shivering. You got the shivers last night? Yeah, the, yeah. Like my body went into shock. Oh, and, but you knocked out. Yeah, I knocked out. Finally completed the background with solid black all around the jaw area. Uh, so now I will begin the jaw finally by uh, applying my solid black first. And most of, the, most of the area here is gonna be red to continue the same dimension or the same uh, illusion that the light, the, there's a red light hitting the, the skull from this corner here. Okay. Okay. All 
I got I got one side, one side of your bag, and I'll send you home. Well, that, and that's the thing, like just you know looking at it and then, you know seeing the progress pictures and then you know slowly but surely just seeing it just disappear and then and then it just it's surreal. That's it. Huh? <laughs> That's it. Trying to take it all in. Trying to take it all in right now. I must say, we're like pretty close to 40 hours. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Wow. Actually, having because I got I have a lot of tattoos and a lot of them are unfinished. So actually having something that's completed feels really good. It's, it's like it's almost like it's my first tattoo that's fully complete. Like I said, just because of the cover-up and what I've been dealing with the past 10 years, seeing it done is just, it's amazing. <laughs>